Do you know that Hindus of non-Indian origin are not only living in India, but also actively promoting and defending Hinduism? These foreigners who settled in India as Hindus, sometimes seem to be more Hindu, than some Indians who are born in India as Hindus. Let's know about some of them in this video. Maria Wirth, hailing from Germany, Maria Wirth landed in India by chance in 1980. She visited the Urdhakum Mela, where she met Sri Ananda Maima and Devarai Baba. Meeting these two renowned saints had left a deep impression upon her, where after she decided to stay in India. During her initial days in India, she thought that every Indian cherishes his rich tradition and culture. However, as she noticed that certain vested interests are preventing Indians and the world, from knowing how valuable the ancient Indian heritage is, she started to point out the unique value of Indian tradition, and continues to share her thoughts on her blog. She insists on not shying away from truth because it is not politically correct and repeatedly urges Indians to be on guard against the vested interests, who are denigrating Hinduism, and want to destroy Indian society. Swami Purna Chaitanya, born and brought up in the Netherlands, Swami Purna Chaitanya showed a keen interest in the spiritual practices, cultures and philosophies of the East, from an early age. After getting disillusioned with martial arts, he found himself drawn towards philosophy and meditation, that promote human values. He met Sri Sri Ravi Shankar during a program in the Netherlands in 2000, and accepted him as his spiritual guru. After completing his studies in the Netherlands in 2007, he decided to dedicate his life to service, and came to India to volunteer for the Art of Living Foundation. Over the years, he has supervised many projects and activities of the Art of Living in northeastern region of India, and also several other parts of India. He has also taught yoga and meditation extensively in India, and several countries worldwide. Swamiji currently works as a director of programs, and senior international trainer, with the Art of Living Foundation, and travels all over the world to represent the Art of Living, at various national and international forums. François Gautier Mr. Gautier is a French political writer and journalist based in India. He first came to India in 1969, and was influenced by the mother of Sri Aurobindo Ashram. He founded the Foundation for Advancement of Cultural Ties, and Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Museum both dedicated to Indian history. He stated that Hinduism had preserved knowledge regarding questions, which address the meaning of life, afterlife, dharma and karma. He criticized the UPA government for their divisive politics, and the Indian media for having a negative bias against Indian culture. History of India as it happened, India's self-denial, and the guru of joy, are some of the books that are authored by him. He was the recipient of B.P. Chandra Pal Award for Nationalist Journalism in 2003. Radhanath Swami, born in a Jewish family in the United States, Radhanath Swami developed an interest in religion and spiritual themes from his early years. After an inner voice urged him to go to India, he started hitchhiking eastwards, and arrived in India in 1970. Swamiji was initiated by Srila Prabhupada in 1973, and received the title of Swami in 1982. After establishing his base in Bombay in 1986, he designed the Devati Care Program in Radhagopi Nath Temple and was the inspiration behind ISKCON Food Relief Foundation, which operates the Indian government's midday meal scheme. The Govardhan Eco Village at the foothills of Sahyadri Mountains was also inspired by Swamiji. Radhanath Swami has achieved global recognition for his humanitarian deeds, and remains one of the most inspirational and respected spiritual leaders in ISKCON today. Dr. David Frawley Dr. Frawley is an American Hindu teacher and author, who has many books on Vedas and Hinduism to his credit. He discovered the Vedas through the work of Sri Aurobindo around 1970, and published translations of hymns from the Rig Veda. In 1991, he was named Vamadeva Shastri by Hindu teacher, Avaduta Shastri. Vamadeva Shastri has written and taught extensively on, Ayurveda, and works with multiple Ayurvedic institutions in India and abroad. Dr. Frawley founded the American Institute of Vedic Studies, and Vedic Management Center, with the aim of promoting timeless Vedic knowledge to international audience. In 2015, Dr. Frawley was conferred National Eminence Award by South Indian Education Society, and in the same year, the Indian government honored him with the Padma Bhushan Award, one of the highest civilian awards in India. Michel Danino, originally from France, Michel Danino has been living in India since 1977. He was attracted to India from an early age, and took an active interest in studying Indian civilization. He participated in the translation of the works of Sri Aurobindo and of the Mother, and also fought for the preservation of tropical rainforest in the Nilgiri Hills. 
Professor Danino has lectured across India on many aspects of Indian civilization, and is currently a guest professor at IIT Gandhi Nagar. He is also a member of the Indian Council of Historical Research, and criticized the Aryan invasion theory in his book, The Invasion That Never Was, which argued that Aryans are indigenous to India. He also presented numerous arguments to support the existence of Sarasvati River mentioned in the Rig Veda, in his book, The Lost River, On the Trail of the Sarasvati. On January 25, 2017, the Government of India awarded him with Padma Shri, for his contribution towards literature and education. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like share and subscribe.